Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. We're in Ruth chapter 3, and we've seen really the character of Naomi being from empty and starting to fill up. Empty to full, and we get to see that throughout this narrative of Ruth. As Ruth and Naomi have made their way back into the land of Naomi, and as Ruth goes out into the harvest fields to glean some of the uh, crops that uh, the ones of Israel, according to the law, leave, leave behind as she's gleaning those crops for the needy, uh, she runs into Boaz, the landowner. The landowner that all of a sudden, as we see at the end of chapter 2, is this kinsman redeemer, uh, the close relative, the protective one of Ruth and Naomi, or should be, according to their law. And so that's where we pick up this narrative as it just gets quicker and quicker um, of Naomi being able to know that it isn't necessarily her prerogative to be able to see the filling of her own life, but rather put Ruth into those spaces, into that purpose of being able to meet her needs for her life. And so instructions from mother, mother mother-in-law to daughter, daughter daughter-in-law for what to do to be able to have a future um, and protection going forward. Chapter 3, verse 1 says, One day Naomi, her mother-in-law, said, said to her, My daughter, should I not try to find a home for you? Or uh, translation there from Ruth chapter 1, verse 9, uh, should I not try to find rest for you, provision for you, a home for you? where you will be provided for. Is not Boaz with whose servant girls you have been a kinsman of ours? Tonight he will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash and perfume yourself and put on your best clothes. This is like a bride preparing herself. Washing, perfuming, best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor, which women aren't allowed or wasn't really uh, welcomed into that threshing floor. Um, and go down to the threshing, threshing floor, but don't let him know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, note the place where he is lying. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. Naomi putting Ruth into the place not only of a, perhaps a proposed marriage, but to a place where Boaz would be actually reacting as kinsman redeemer, as protector, as one taking into the provision of his home. And Ruth said, I will do whatever you say, Ruth answered. So she went down to the threshing floor and did everything her mother-in-law told her to do. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking, was in good spirits because uh, the the, the harvest was this great time of festivities. Um, as he was eating and drinking, he was in good spirits. He went over to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Pretty normal at that time as well. The landowner that's bringing in his harvest puts it into a place and actually sleeps by it so that it wouldn't be taken by theft. Ruth approached quietly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. In the middle of the night, something startled the man. And he turned and discovered a woman lying at his feet. Who are you? He asked. I am your servant Ruth, she said. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are a kinsman redeemer. This was, in that language, an ask for marriage, an ask for protection, an ask for a home, an ask for rest. Since you are the kinsman redeemer, the law speaks to you being able to be actually walked towards in any kind of way in the family membership. If there is a widow, that you take that widow into your house. So spread your cover, uh, spread the corner of your garment over you. It's still actually used in the Middle East these days, a certain language to be able to actually spread your garment. Uh, Cover me with your property. Cover me with your possessions. Cover me with your provision. The Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor, 
And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. All my fellow townsmen know that you are a woman of noble character. Although it is true that I am near of kin, there is a kinsman redeemer near than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to redeem, good, let him redeem. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. An oath from Boaz to Ruth. Boaz wanted to make sure that he was uh, seeing out the law that is laid for Israel at the end of Genesis and Levitical laws of being able to take in that widow if you are that kinsman redeemer. But there was a closer relative that should be the kinsman redeemer. So Boaz is going to try to find that out to be able to make sure overarching reality that Ruth would have her protection and her provision. Lie here until morning. Verse 14 says, So she lay at his feet until morning, but got up before anyone could be recognized, and he said, Don't let it be known that a woman came to the threshing floor. He also said, Bring me the shawl you are wearing and hold it out. When she did so, he poured into it six measures of barley and put it on her. And then he went back to town. An exercise of generosity. I not only gave you an oath, but I also gave you provision to go back to Naomi. Naomi always coming from this emptiness to this filled. Here comes Ruth, heeding the commands, heeding the, uh, the, the push of Naomi to do what she did at the threshing floor. And Ruth doesn't come back empty-handed with an oath and also with barley. When Ruth came to her mother-in-law, Naomi asked, How did it go, my daughter? And she told her everything Boaz had done for her and added, He gave me these six measures of barley, saying, Don't go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. Then Naomi said, Wait, my daughter, until you find out what happens. For the man will not rest until the matter is settled today. Naomi, knowing the law well, being patient within that law and being able to make sure that that law is enacted, putting Ruth into the certain places at the certain times. And how beautiful it is that Naomi, and selfless that she is, probably up in the years that she is, understanding, I'm not going to be able to be that house, that rest, and that provision. She needs to be able to put Ruth into a place where she's going to have that protection, that rest, and that provision. Boaz gives an oath. Boaz is going to head out into the city gate to be able to find out what the law is going to enact. And if this kinsman redeemer, this one that he would need to ask that's closest to Ruth as kinsman redeemer, will redeem her or not. What we get to see here, I just want you to see Naomi in a certain light of provision for the one she cares about within her home. Putting her into the places, to the purpose of protection, of care, of provision. May we do that for others as well. May we have that heart for others. Perhaps in tough times, perhaps the children within our households. Of being able to put them into the places and into the purpose to be cared for by our Heavenly Father and by the provision that He gives to us to be a blessing. We are blessed. For what purpose? I think we get to see that Naomi. Blessed to be a blessing. Have a blessed day.